So what is going on YouTube? It's your boy Legendary E and we are back here for another video and we're here for another NBA I guess this is a mock draft uh, But we did one on the 2021 draft uh, a few days ago and, and, and I've actually done my official one And I've also done another mock draft for 2020 uh, About a few weeks ago, so make sure you go and check out all those videos links will be in the description But we're using 2k because I mean I don't want to get copyright Shriked by all these companies for, for doing nothing except providing highlights of other players but In today's video, we're gonna be talking about the best fit So this isn't really some of the teams that I think are gonna draft a player and I guess this is how I do most of my mock drafts I'm doing this by how I think both players and team Would fit based on their playing style of both the team and the player and just taking everything into account so, I mean, let's let's go over to a team like the Warriors. I think that James Wiseman would fit in really well, but more than him, I think that Obi Toppin would fit in even more. Mainly because Draymond is kind of deteriorating, and if they want to keep up their championship run, they need somebody who could potentially replace Draymond Green. And I think that Obi Toppin can provide a lot of the stuff that Draymond does, but he's a better shooter right now. And even if they draft him, they can still run that small ball death lineup with Draymond at center, Obi at power forward. Well, actually, Obi's 6'9", and Draymond's like 6'5", 6'6". They can play Obi at center, to be honest. And same thing with James Wiseman. He isn't the best shooter at all, but he is really athletic, and I think that he can keep up with their pace. And the only team that I'm going to find this difficult with is probably the Chicago Bulls. But I have something coming with the Bulls, so stay tuned for that. Regardless, if you guys like me using 2K for some of these mock drafts, let me know in the comment section below. Like up this video. Let's aim for 100 plus likes. And just share this video and subscribe. And let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Lay out some of the best fits you guys see uh, for each of these teams and each of these prospects. But I mean, other than that... Let's get straight into it. And the best part about doing this is the draft lottery part. So Cleveland has number one overall pick. Um, so we're going to see how we can get this thing done. Because Cleveland is also one of those teams that I can see struggling with. Mainly because, to me, all the best players in this class are guards. And that are Anthony Edwards and LaMelo Ball. Those, to me, are the two best players in this class. Cleveland, if you guys draft another point guard, I might lose my ish bro like i really might because that's something that you guys just legitimately don't need to be doing however the best fit for for you guys to me i mean let's look at some of the positions you guys have you guys want to just center you guys are probably gonna be signing drumming long long term to me y'all don't need a point guard or a shooting guard at all if you guys are running with garland and sexton so to me you guys need a small forward or a power forward and the one problem with this is that you guys are working with the number one overall pick. And even at small forward, you guys have Kevin Porter Jr. So, you guys really need a power forward. Preferably, you guys need somebody on, on this team who is a good playmaker. Darius Garland had, was supposed to be that guy, but he has been struggling a lot. Uh, which is why his rookie season is averaging about 4.6 assists. And he actually struggled a lot at the beginning of the season. And Sexton just don't be passing at, at all, so... Really don't even ask for, for the ball. So really just, just a power forward who can stretch the floor, shoot. And you guys don't really have an identity. So for you guys, I would see you guys looking at somebody like... Because once again, even though Anthony Edwards and LaMelo are the best players in this draft. Do y'all do y'all go... Like, what do y'all do? Like, this is what I'm saying. Like, you guys are in a really tough position now. I would say you guys would go Obi Toppin... Or maybe even reach on Denny because Denny can play power forward and he's a solid passer with with some upside. Unfortunately, I see you guys going Obi Toppin if you guys are in this position. And I say unfortunately because I think Cleveland, like no shots at Cleveland, and I know Cleveland fans and Ohio fans are gonna hate this. Cleveland is is, is a poverty franchise, and they just are not good at really picking players and when they do pick a really solid player like i think they did the last few years with sexton and garland they're not good at developing players so sorry obi 
you don't get your wish of playing for Golden State, you're heading over to Cleveland, man. And I think he fits in perfectly there. He did go to Dayton, man. So I think that that's a really good pick for, for Cleveland. In real life, I just would hope that they would be able to develop him. Now, as far as the Hornets go, now, the Hornets, again, another team that is horrible at developing players and drafting players for, for the most part, but they are just really bad at developing players. Their two best players on this team are guards. However, I don't feel like their guard spots are necessarily locked up. Devontae Graham actually did really start off the, the, this season well. He He's cooled off a lot. But even then, this is a team that more than a guard, they need a center. So with this, I do have them taking James Wiseman. I think that he could lock it up down low for them. They already have a lot of guys who want to take jump shots on this team. That's not their problem at all. Those guys being, let me go back to their team needs. Those guys being their point guards, Devontae Graham, Terry Rozier, and I do like P.J. Washington a lot. I think P.J.'s going to be really, really solid. And Miles Bridges is really athletic. So if they want to run this set with this with, with, with these two guards overshooting, they're going to need a lot of rebounds for Terry's bricks. <laughs> so, and I'm sorry, man. I'm taking a lot of shots, but hey, man. Uh, with this, I do have them taking James Wiseman. I think that they need to center the most, and I think that he could keep up with, with the pace and just keep it to where they have a really athletic front court. Like a front court of him, PJ Washington, and Miles Bridges is is actually kind of a scary side because you gotta watch your head at all times. So I think that that's actually very, very fair. Let me know what you guys think about that in the comment section below. This could be portrayed as a mock draft, I get. I guess this can be portrayed as a mock draft if some of these teams landed here and they were smart with their picks or this is what i think that they should do if they land in these situations so next up is the minnesota timberwolves they have the third overall pick now since i am a timberwolves fan adding Lamelo, having a backcourt of, of Lamelo and d -Lo, just that just like to me Lamelo's potential is insane he can pass the ball better than and then D'Angelo. D'Angelo is probably going to be a better shooter. Lamelo is also a great scorer. We can also go the Anthony Edwards route where I, I think maybe at this point he, he's the best player that's really debatable between him and Melo. We could go that route. Another route is on Yeka. I'm a little less sold on, on that route because we could play Towns a power forward because he's a better shooter and he would actually dominate there. So it's really between Anthony Edwards and Lamelo. I like LaMelo's passing, and I like having a team full of passers. Now, what now? What does this mean for Malik Beasley? We'll see. Uh, we probably keep on starting Josh Okugi as well. Power forward is still going to up for the Bay and Center Towns. I like LaMelo here, and I do like Anthony Edwards. I do. I mean, both of them defensively are not the best at all. But I do have. I do like having a 6'7 guard, and... Even though Melo has been playing point guard most of his life, he can play shooting guard. Same thing with D'Lo. All these guys need the ball in, in their hands, which, which makes things so much harder because we can't make the he's better off ball argument for either of them because we, we really haven't seen it. I guess with this one, with this one, I'm going to take Anthony Edwards. And I still think that Melo is, has the most upside in, in the draft. I just think that Edwards might fit better in Minnesota. Like, he's, he's, he's stupid athletic, and, that, and that's something that Minnesota needs. Next up, we have the Washington Wizards. And for them, I mean, we look at their team needs. John Wall's coming back. I don't see them replacing John Wall, mainly because for that, you, you, you have to trade John Wall. That's not happening. You guys need a small forward. Like, Thomas Bryant has been solid, I would say. How much is he averaging this season? He's averaging about 11, 7. Could be a little, a little bit better. I ain't gonna lie. It could be a little bit better. Troy Brown has just been a disappointment. I'm going Denny. I think with this pick, Denny makes the most sense. He can pass. He can score. And they're taking a risk on a, on somebody who can be great for their team. And he won't, and he won't take shots away from Beal and John Wall. I think that that's a solid pick. The Detroit Pistons. Now, Detroit, on their side, I can see them. They are definitely they are in a complete rebuild. 
they got to take the best player in the draft. My only problem with this is that LaMelo would and LaVar would most likely force the force their way out of going to Detroit. And I can already see that happening. But Melo would actually be perfect here. Him and Blake Griffin running the floor n- next season would be great. It's just that would he be willing to play for them? That's my that's my only issue with this. Would he be willing to play for them? Because if not, Onyeka. Hmm. I really got to think about this. Is that would his personality rock? And that's what I'm taking into accountability because fit does matter. He has the he has the pull to force his way out of going to most teams. And that could be one of the times where he actually does it. I mean, somebody else that these guys could take. I mean, they got Christian Wood. And he's been balling out. So he he plays their center. They they get Blake back. He, he, he could definitely force his way out of going there. And I can see that happening. I could definitely see, see that happening. So with this one, I do have them taking Isaac Okoro from Auburn. I think he would actually be great there. They do need a small forward. And I think he's kind of a grit and grind type player. So that's actually perfect for, for what Detroit runs. I keep on saying this. The Warriors are going to trade this pick, but easily the best player here is Lamella Ball. Does this give him the ba- the best place to grow? No, but Steph, Melo, Clay at small forward, Draymond, and whoever they have at center, I would, I would understand it. I don't think that they go on Yaki here. I think that LaMelo fits in here a lot. A lot. The only bad part is that he might start off off the bench, and it, it depends on what they want to do with Wiggins. But Wiggins off the bench might be kind of nasty as well. So we really got to see. But him and Golden State would actually be kind of lethal. Now heading over to the Chicago Bulls, like I've always said, I don't know what the Bulls rebuild actually is because they have young players at almost every single position to where I can't take a point guard. Kobe White's there. Can't take a shooting guard because that because Zach Levine. However, I do think that I do think I do I do think that Zach Levine should be traded soon. That's just what I think. I, I I'll explain that in a different video. Otto Porter's actually been decent for them. Uh, Lori Markinen, Wendell Carter, like they got young prospects and young players at every single position. So what do they really do here? Wendell Carter and Lori are the safest players on the team. For me, so I guess right here you guys do you guys do take a point guard, and that point guard for me is Killian Hayes. I think that he could actually be great there. And Kobe White is better off the bench than he is starting. So that's something for you guys to think about. We just gotta see how this whole thing plays out. The New York Knicks are on the board. And who do I got them taking here, man? They they are another team that's all over the place, to be real with you. I'm not sold on any of the point guards. The only player that I like on this team is Barrett and Mitch Robinson a little bit. I do think he's kind of overhyped a little bit. But Barrett could be a, a great playmaker for them. He needs to work on a shot, though, for sure. I have them taking the hometown kid, Cole Anthony. And if I didn't mention it, we're only doing the top 10 picks because if not, this video would, would be like 20 minutes long. And the Hawks are another great team on the rise. Trey Young is holding it down. I could say that they need, I mean, a lot of these positions, because Cam Reddish has been getting so much better. So maybe he's their future at, at shooting guard. I like DeAndre Hunter. I even kind of like Clint Capella. However, however, how long do they keep Clint though? They can go to so many directions with this. They can actually just, just, just draft a shooting guard, but I do think that Cam Reddish probably would be their future at shooting guard. So, and like I said, I'm still not a, I don't like, I understand them trading for Clint Capella for next season, but do I think that they keep him for three seasons? I don't know. I don't know at all. So they could easily go, go guard here. I would understand it. I mean, the only guard I can see them taking right here is probably Tyrese Maxey. The rest of them, I don't think it fits in at all. Precious is also a sleeper. Tyrese Halliburton, I don't think he fits in with this team at all, if I'm being honest. Same thing with Theo. I think Onyeka is the player for this pick. That's not crazy. I still think that for that pick, Onyeka, and I think that Onyeka has more upside than Clint does. So they'd have to find a trade partner. 
And with the last pick of this thing, we got the San Antonio Spurs. And for the Spurs, they can go various ways as well. Um, they can go Tyrese Maxey. They can go Precious. They, they can go Nico Mannion. I think that they are gridlocked at, at point guard, to be real with you. Like, they got way too many point guards on this roster. And they're probably gonna, and with this pick, I'm probably going to have them taking another one, to be honest. Because just look at this roster, man. It's nothing but guards. Like, all their guards are their best players. And DeMar DeRozan and Keldon Johnson are shooting guards. I, I don't care what the, what the Spurs have them running. They are shooting guards. They need power forwards and centers. But for this pick, there's no one there unless they want to take a risk. If, if they want to reach for a, a player, because the Spurs have trouble putting up points. Not defense, it's putting up points. Jaden McDaniels is projected to go somewhere in the teens. If they want to take a risk on somebody with with high upside, it's Jaden McDaniels. Because that man is a great shot creator and can be a lethal scorer in the NBA. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. These are the best fits for the teams for whichever draft pick that they get in the NBA draft. I had Cleveland taking OB. Charlotte taking James Wiseman, Minnesota taking Anthony Anthony Edwards, Washington taking Denny, Detroit taking Isaac o Okoro, the Warriors taking Melo, Bulls taking Killian Hayes, New York Knicks taking Cole Anthony, Atlanta taking Onyeka, and the Spurs taking Jaden McDaniels. Let me know what you guys think about this video in the comment section below. Some other concepts we, we can actually do revolving around the, the 2020 NBA draft and just other basketball videos you guys will want me to make. But other than that, I'll see you guys in the next video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you go and like it up. And of course, subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm out. Peace, y'all.